Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure of prokaryotic cells. In the last video we looked at the structure of eukaryotic cells. Remember that eukaryotes include animals, plants and fungi. In eukaryotic cells the DNA is contained in a membrane bound nucleus and the DNA in eukaryotes is coiled around histone proteins. In eukaryotes the DNA is linear. In other words, the ends of the DNA in a chromosome are not joined to form a loop. Eukaryotic cells also contain other membrane-bound organelles, such as mitochondria, the Golgi apparatus, and the endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, so in this video we're looking at the structure of prokaryotic cells. I'm showing you here the general structure of a bacterial cell. Bacteria are prokaryotic cells. Now, there are some major differences between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Firstly, prokaryotic cells are much smaller than eukaryotic cells. I'm showing you here a side by side comparison of an animal cell and a bacterial cell. Now, both animal cells and bacterial cells vary in size, but this gives you an idea of how much smaller prokaryotic cells are compared to eukaryotic cells. Looking closely at the bacterial cell, we can see that prokaryotic cells have no membrane bound organelles at all. This means that in prokaryotic cells, the DNA is found in the cytoplasm rather than in a nucleus. Unlike in eukaryotic cells, in prokaryotic cells, the DNA is arranged into a circular chromosome with no free ends, and the DNA in prokaryotes is not bound to histone proteins. Sometimes bacterial cells contain small loops of DNA called plasmids. Plasmids usually contain a relatively small number of genes, but these can include genes which make the bacterium resistant to antibiotics. So plasmids are very important for bacteria. In contrast, eukaryotic cells do not contain plasmids. Now you'll notice that prokaryotic cells also contain ribosomes, and just like in eukaryotic cells, these ribosomes carry our protein synthesis. However, the ribosomes in prokaryotic cells are smaller than in eukaryotic cells. Scientists say that prokaryotic ribosomes have a size of 70S, whereas eukaryotic ribosomes have a size of 80S, and the letter S is simply a unit showing how quickly organelles move in a centrifuge. Okay, now prokaryotic cells, such as bacteria, are surrounded by a cell wall. In bacteria, this is made from peptidoglycan, which is also called murine. Peptidoglycan is a polymer formed between peptides and polysaccharide molecules. The bacterial cell wall helps to maintain the structure of the cell. For example, if water moves into the bacterial cell by osmosis, the cell wall prevents the cell from bursting. Some bacteria produce a slime capsule on the outside of the cell wall. And this slime capsule can help to protect the bacteria from phagocytosis by white blood cells. Okay, now there are a couple of other structures in prokaryotic cells that we need to look at. Some prokaryotic cells have a flagellum, which helps them to move. Now we also see a flagellum in sperm cells, which are eukaryotic. But you need to understand that the prokaryotic flagellum has a different structure to that found in eukaryotes. Some bacteria also have fine protein strands on their surface. These are called pili. Pili help bacteria to attach to surfaces and also to attach to other bacteria. And when two bacteria are attached, DNA can be transferred from one bacterium to another. Lastly, bacteria also contain lipid droplets and glycogen granules, and these act as nutrient stores for the bacterial cell. Okay, now sometimes using the electron microscope, we can see infoldings in the cell membrane of prokaryotic cells. These are called mesosomes, and we can see that here. Initially, scientists suggested that mesosomes played a role in respiration. However, scientists now believe that mesosomes are actually artifacts that are created when bacterial cells are prepared for electron microscopy. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the structure of prokaryotic cells. 